So, we are playing Blackpool in the Cowbell Cup. Well, let's talk about this review. Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm. Sharing gets in front of people's faces. And subscribing let me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. So we've got some former people we are coming up again today uh, in manager and players. So it'll be interesting to see what went they do tonight. But it's going to be interesting because we had a good game on Saturday. We we're making steps in the right direction. But you want to keep that going. So... Wednesday, I do have a bone to pick with you already. What's this? Like, what is that? Why have we got no graphic made up for this? Uh, it's like we forgot. Uh, it looks really pippo. O'Donnell, uh, F20 player, Penanthe, Morgan, Carl, Carl, Kai, M, 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 oh, Embleton. I think that's how you say it. Colts, Rhodes, uh, let's hope you don't go against the Beasley, Cash in, Cash, Thompson, Ashwood. The subs are Tyler, Hubbard, Gabriel, Joseph, Ballard, Hamilton, after Finningen and Knight. Wednesday, go with Pierre Charles, Valentin, Gabriel Ogatumbai, I think that's it, Bernard, Matt Lowe, Sean Fuser, Ingleson, Patterson, Masava, Jam Jamal Lowe, and Michael Smith up top. The subs are Beadle, Ferro, Valerie, Palmer, Bannon, Johnson, Gasama, McNeil, and Ugbo. I was really hoping up, up, uh, McNeil was going to start this game, and sadly he's not. I'm kind of disappointed about that. I was really looking forward to Ugbo uh, and McNeil kind of partnership, or maybe that kind of thing coming into it, but it's not to be, so we'll have to see what happens. But Sheffield went there, got to go into this with good spirits and see what we can do. Hopefully we can get all... I know he said all three points. Hopefully can go get through to the next round of the cup and see what we get on. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we do tonight. Um, they got a new manager in Steve Bruce. We all know about Steve Bruce. I don't think he'll get a good reception with the fans that have gone there tonight. And fair play for you to go into Blackpool on a Tuesday night. So, in that first half, we played some really good football, knocked it around a bit, and there was some really good play by Ingleson. Uh, Pato did well. I think Max Lowe had a really good game, and Valentin, again, doing that thing where he'd been getting in, a, in on the wing and going, trying to get a cross in. Really good play by Wednesday. We go 1-0 up, but it doesn't last, sadly. And you're wondering, why, why doesn't it last being 1-0 up? Because it was offside. It's a cracking ball in by Ingleson to make it uh, so it goes into the box and recycle it. But the problem is, it doesn't stay on side. It's a really good diving header as well, which is even more annoying because it's an absolutely fantastic chance for Sheffield Wednesday Football Club uh, to go 1-0 up. We have another attempt. Um, this time it was Masaba just being a prat. Let's call it what it was. He's been a prat. He literally goes like that with his hand on the ball into the back of their net. And it's like, what are you doing? Get a butt for it. Blatant as anything. But we do get one, go 1-0 one up. And it's a good assist again for Michael Smith. And it's from Bernard again. Bernard with a really good shot. And he gets his first goal for the club. Really good thing going forward, though. We had a good load of corners. I thought Ingleson's. Set piece delivery was really good and really impressive with how we were trying to get it forward. Looked solid at the back. Max Lowe and uh, Valentin on both sides looking very strong, trying to get forward and coming back and getting the defending right as well. And you're thinking, okay, we can keep this up for the next couple of uh, minutes till half time. That'd be good because we attacked really well. Patterson kept on trying to find bits of space to try and make something happen. And it just, you were just hoping for something to come off to get another goal. Because they, when they did have chances, they, they were few, few and far between. They kept on taking long shots to try and chip uh, Charles and didn't really do anything. Uh, there was a bit of a mistake in the first half. I thought Ogotumbai was really good. Gabriel, I can't say his surname well again. Uh, Gabriel had a really good half. Made some little mistakes where he gave the ball away a little bit too much, but it luckily none of it got pounced on. But he did look solid, and he looked good 
going forward as well when he had the ball. Sean Fuser looked fantastic yet again. Got a bit of a head injury in the start of the uh, half, though. But we went into it and played some really good fo football. You're thinking, can we get another one in the second half to, to keep it going? Because so far, it's been an excellent game. In the second half, it was more of the same in the first half, trying to get forward. But around about the 64th minute, 70th minute, they made changes. And those changes started to make a big impact. They were starting to get forward a lot more. They were starting to get running at us a little bit more. Well, at half time, we made a sub. It was Masaba off and Gasama on. Masaba came off that pitch with his head down. He did not look happy at all. He looked like he knew he was about to get pulled off the uh, pitch. He wasn't great, I won't lie. He did not look brilliant in, in the way he was like looking at coming off. So it's like I was a bit concerned with that. We had to make another sub. Uh, Gabriel Atumbai had to come off for Famo with an injury, which was unlucky for him. Um, but we made we got McNeil on for a bit of well for Jamal Lowe. I thought Jamal Lowe was really good, made some good little twists and turns. Didn't really have much of a shot, but he, he made he made the best that he could have done it out of it. Um Bannon and Palmer come on for Ingleson and Fuser. I thought Ingleson was fantastic. I think he was really good. He's just one of those players. It's taken a little bit longer than we wanted to get into the game, uh, which is the whole thing for me. Um, also, here's the thing for, for Liam Palmer coming on. That is his 442 appearances. He is level with Don Megson now. He's now going to go after Redfern Foggergat, who's on 458. What a name. Uh, we had to sweat it out a little bit near the end, though. Six minutes at a time. And they were really starting to come forward. And it's like, we're not going to knacker this, are we? We are not going to knacker this and do what we've been doing. Pitchell gets a yellow card as well. For time waiting, it did look like he didn't actually could hear the um, ref whistle. But we get through to the next round of the cup. It's a good performance. It's a clean sheet as well. That is something I want to make it very, very clear. We got a clean sheet. And that's something that we needed uh, going into the game versus um, Luton. We got to take this performance into that Luton game now as well. So this Luton game at the weekend, we've got to play some good football. Now, if we can get a result at Luton, I will be very happy indeed. I'm happy that Deshaun got his first goal as well. He deserved that. Um, we managed to do it on a Tuesday night in Blackpool. And it's good that it's all just come about right at the right moment. So I'm really happy to see him get all three points um, through to the next round of the Cup. Now we've got to push on and do the work against Luton. Tough, tough game. There's no easy game in the championship. We've got to go do that. We're doing a debrief tomorrow night uh, to talk about the game. It'll be around half six-ish, I'm thinking, just because I came live tonight. Uh, but yeah, about half six, seven-ish. Come join us for that. It won't be too long, about 30 minutes to 45, probably. But we are through to the next round of cup. Really good performance. Deshaun Bernard gets a goal. Uh, and we get a clean sheet. What more could we ask for? Probably scoring a lot more goals. But here's the thing for me. If we can start building with this result and the result against QPR with performances, it will come. We just could have faith, but let's hope it happens sooner than later.